10 seconds 5 seconds start mr chairman sir at the outset i offer my congratulations to the chief minister on not levying new taxes apart from that i should like to offer my congratulations to him and to the other honorable ministers on doing their very best for this part of the country in all directions and wish them the best of luck in the coming months and years i am glad that the chief minister in his speech gave an economic survey and covered the economic background of this part of the country's finances with regard to the budget i agree that it is a balanced budget no doubt a household budget should be a balanced budget but it may not be so in the case of the government a government's budget need not necessarily be a balanced budget if we had resorted to a little deficit budgeting it would have given us reason for asking for more money from the center to spend on schemes of development the lady member referred to conditions in hospitals it requires more money and school buildings require more money i see it for the first time that more emphasis is to be laid on minor irrigation schemes it is necessary to pay sufficient attention to major irrigation schemes also all these require money and we should try to get more money from the center in this connection i should like to refer to the relationship between the center and the states with regard to the financial positions we must give full support to the chief minister in the plea that the new finance commission should rectify the imbalances and see that more resources are allotted to the states a deficit budget would have enabled this government to get more money from the center on the question of agriculture i should like to support the view put forward by one honorable member that there should be a committee to advise on the ways and means to be adopted for improvement of cattle farms i am very happy that the minister in charge of these farms is taking great interest in the matter but i should like to request him to consider whether it is advisable to have a local advisory committee i do not suggest members of the assembly to be on that committee this is a suggestion which i would like to commend to the minister some of the cattle farms are improving and i am sure that the cattle farms in general will greatly improve in the next few years with regard to tourism i can only say that the best part of the speech of the lady member as my support i have no doubt that madras can be a tourist center and we can get more foreign exchange thereby the trade and industries fair has attracted a number of tourists i am sure the tourist department to be started by the government will help tourism to a great extent then i come to the question of high prices i speak as one of the consumers and it is very difficult for any one of us to make both ends meet i know that the government are trying their best to keep the prices down once the prices of a commodity goes up it does not come down i think the government should try to see that something is done to help us in this regard whether it is to be done by the center something must be done 
to reduce prices with these words i thank you and conclude my speech letter dated 3rd january 1990 from national trading multiple company madras to thiru v krishnan for lake view road madras dear sir we thank you for your kind letter we are glad to note that you are interested in the purchase of our goods in the first instance we assure you of the best quality of our goods we have three sections in our sales department one deals in household articles another deals in stationary items specially designed for school and colleges the third deals in building materials which are in great demand now we enclose a price list of the articles that we sell the prices are subject to change from time to time according to market trend we usually offer a discount to our customers further we allow a special discount for bulk purchases you will be glad to know that we have a special stall in the trade and industries fair that is being organized towards the end of the month in madras most of the articles that we deal in will be on display there a special feature is that we offer a seasonal discount in prices in respect of the articles purchased at this fair we are sure that you will not miss this opportunity our representatives will help you in selecting the best items once you purchase goods from us you will be attracted to come again and again for further purchases yours faithfully